Hi graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Bartwood Grove from Final Frontier Games. Let me tell you the story of the birds that live in Bartwood Grove Planning, composing the songs in their yards to get all the glory Going about the town to sing their songs or soothe the wild creatures Boasting their talents to everyone else, the birds of Bartwood Grove the game plays 1 to 4 players, with mechanics such as deck building, tableau building, and point to point movement. The game is of medium complexity. Welcome to Bartwood Grove Travelers, where you want to build your deck, plan your cards right, activate your cards, and move around the town, collect the gems for points. On the player's turn, player plays 2 skill cards, 1 to their tableau for planning, and the other one to discard pile gaining the card's benefits shown at the bottom usually gaining volume which is one of the currencies and moving their tempo clockwise to the next quadrant space that space also determines the player's bar movement on the main board so the player then moves their bar that's it then goes to the next player who does the same and in the meantime the player that just had a turn would draw until they have two skill cards in hand but after playing their cards if the player moves their tempo across the top area then the player activates their song and bard player can interact with all adjacent locations to their bard figure and activating the cards in their tableau the cards usually give them resources that they have to spend that turn like red melodies or blue lyrics often optionally pay with the volume currency to get extra optional benefits after players do their actions in town discard all cards to the discard pile and shuffle discard pile to form a new deck if the player's deck is empty now what are some of the actions well like other deck building games you can buy more and better cards from the market for your deck place on top of your deck there is also improv cards available that players can play directly to their tableau when drawn neat huh other action players can soothe a creature in several locations if they have enough red melody to pay the cost gaining the card and benefit and then boast about their successes to the locals pay the cost put the creature card to their own deck for ongoing benefit players can also challenge another player who is in the same location pay the cost take their badge to exchange for resources and points don't worry it's good to get your badges taken as it can unlock some points there are other actions too like getting once off motive bonus, assist with soothing monsters, or paying blue lyrics to get gems for points, and opening up endgame bonus opportunities for all players. When the green crystal supplies are gone, game ends, and the player with the most gems is the legendary bard and wins. I would say there are some unique mechanics in the game that I haven't quite seen before the twists of the deck building, the activations of your worker, and the combos you can do when activating your cards as examples. You can activate one thing at a time and one location at a time. The order is your choice, a puzzle you need to figure out between turns. And because of this, the game has minimal downtime. There are other things that help you in the game too, like the red range stones help you with activating monsters or challenge other bards not on your location or the purple song stones wild resource for red melody or blue lyrics the game also comes with some unlockable content for you to discover like new fan cards creatures mechanics and more so thanks for watching folks 
Check out Bartwood Grove on Kickstarter. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully, I will see you there too. See you next time.